Craig here at Hashtag Multimedia. We're pretty excited today because we have a bunch of different people coming in from radio stations, TV stations, outdoor companies. They're all here for one thing, and that is to land the Lysio's Bakery account for this year. The great thing is that all of these companies went the extra mile for us, and we greatly appreciate that. Thanks for coming in, guys. I really appreciate it. Good to see nice you. Nice to see you guys. Good to see you, too. Introduce yourself. My name is Jacqueline Barucha, as you know. I'm from The Fanatic, 97.5. Fanatic. I'm Jake McCann. I am the general sales manager at 975 The Fanatic. Let's see if you guys are going to be able to win it back to your station. Our first group that came in today was 97.5 The Fanatic. We had worked with them for three years in a row. Uh, this past year we had switched up and went to work with their competition. The family that breaks bread together stays together. There's a little bit of a new um, message here. So we wanted to focus on that, but we also wanted to enhance some of the stuff that Lysios already does in the market from a community standpoint because we think that's important to them. I think we've done a successful job of, of putting together a proposal that encompasses all of the marketing objectives and needs and wants that Lysios is trying to achieve. We want to have multi-year relationships where we come up with custom programs that fit your marketing needs and challenges and work within your budget and get your results. The event we did two years ago was Boss of the Sauce. It involved Lysios and you were involved in the brainstorming session with the bread and the sauce and, and you know, that's something we haven't done since we, we haven't worked with Lysios. One of the things I love about uh, working with the Fanatic is they're really open to brainstorming and they love to try to come up with a plan that's really going to be uh, a marriage, so to speak, of what you want and what they can offer. We wanted to do something called Alicia's Lunch Break on The Fanatic. One day every week for six months, we would mutually agree upon that day. Um, we would have one of the vendors bring in lunch. One of the packages that I like that uh, 97.5 came up with they're calling it the Lysio's lunch break, but we may change that to home away from home because that's what our segments are going to be called. I did a couple spec spots for you. It's time for the lunch break brought to you by Lysio's and Gino's Steaks. It all starts with the bread. Lysio's rolls really make the sandwich. You know, soft on the inside, crusty on the outside. The bread absorbs all those juices from the cheese steak. So thanks to Lysio's and thanks to Gino's for bringing in lunch during this Lysio's lunch break. Jacqueline's presentation was pretty all-encompassing. She pretty much nailed it. Well, good morning. My name is Ralph Domenico. I'm from 1029 WMGK, and this is my boss, Chris Kirkner, General Sales Manager for 1029 WMGK in Philadelphia. So the second radio station to come in today was WMGK, and uh, Ralph brought his boss, Chris, along. And uh, I've known Ralph for a while. He goes after it. I appreciate a hard worker. We want to grow Lysios, and we thought as a partnership, we'd look for things that were an organic tie-in or something that could really make a difference. The first one to discuss real quick is the John DeBella's Comfort Food Fest. We have chefs from all over Philadelphia coming in and making their favorite dish that's comfort food. Who's, who's participated in the past? Thankfully, we always get great participation. It changes up at each, uh, each year a little bit from Philly's top restaurants. Matt Levin has uh, participated in the past. Uh, Steven Starr's restaurants have participated in the past. Cooper okay. Libre. Cooper Libre. Yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. All right. Well, that sounds that sounds interesting. John DeBell is, a, is an icon. He's been on the air for 30 years. Uh, I remember coming out of high school, listening to him at the first ad agency I worked for, and his morning zoo. And it was groundbreaking. So be, it would be great to do something with DeBell. The last uh, big idea that we thought of for Lysios is the Hamels Foundation. The thing that I like the most about the WMGK proposal is the tie-in with the Hamels Foundation. We're involved with the Phillies, we're involved with a lot of different charities, and any chance that we have to align ourselves with a charity, we, we try to take that opportunity. The goal was to build um, Lysios customers, business owners, to pick up Lysios. We have a way to do that with the Hamels Foundation, using Cole's image, using Cole and Heidi's voices, on commercials. It's not an endorsement, but it is a connection with a great organization that helps children right here in Philadelphia. Ralph definitely went above and beyond. Kudos to Ralph. 